Trying to stay on top of everything you need to organize in both your personal and professional life is an almost impossible task. But these five iPad apps are going to take that pain away. Happy days. Hello one and all and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first visit, we provide tech tips, tricks and reviews for everyday people in everyday situations. If that sounds like you, consider subscribing. Today we're going to be talking about five absolutely game-changing iPad productivity and organization apps that have loads of functionality packed into them but at the same time are incredibly simple to use and what's even better is that all of these apps are capable of talking to each other across multiple different devices to give you a properly joined up workflow that's going to transform your organization both at home and at work. But you didn't come here to hear me waffle on so without any further ado let's jump into app number one. The first app I simply cannot do without on my iPad is Things. At its core, Things is an incredibly powerful to-do list app, but with a very simple layout that makes it really easy to understand. And if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll see that all of the five apps on this list tie back into Things to allow me to create to-dos from anywhere. Jumping straight into the app, what you'll see is you have the ability to add to-dos to your inbox, and then from there you can subdivide them into other areas depending on when you want to get them done, such as high priority items going in today, as well as being able to set them for specific dates in the future or if you're less committal to certain tasks you can add them to any time or someday areas and then you get a logbook which shows you your completed tasks. Not only can you subdivide your to-dos by time but you can also subdivide them by different areas of your life. I have things areas set up for work, home, holidays and an area dedicated to my YouTube channel as well. That allows me to manage all my to-dos from within the same app and I don't need to worry about to-dos for work getting mixed up with to-dos for home. They all have their own separate space and that's what allows me to work from within one app for everything. This gives you two different ways that you can view your to-dos. You can either view them time-based so you can look at everything you've got to do today across all of the different areas and projects you're working on or you can drill down into a specific area and a specific project and specifically see your to-dos or add to-dos within that project. We're looking at things on the iPad here but this will sync across all of your devices. There are apps available for the iPhone, Apple Watch and Mac. Because the Things app is exclusive to Apple devices there are loads of great keyboard shortcuts on both the iPad and the Mac versions that allow you to add to-dos more quickly. For example you can simply press the spacebar to add a new to-do or on the Mac version you can press option followed by spacebar from within any app to add a new to-do right from there. And if you add a new to-do from for example a website it's going to include the link to that website automatically in your new to-do. So it can really work with you as you're working and it doesn't get in the way of your normal workflow. An extension of that is that every person's Things app comes with their own unique mail to Things email address. So if you get something into your work inbox that you know you don't have time for now but you want to action later, you can just forward that to Things and you know it's going to land in your inbox ready for you to sort into the various categories later. Things comes with a whole host of other useful features such as being able to add tags to your to-dos, mark when you want to get them done and also set deadlines. Lines. Further to that you can set up to-dos to be recurring so if it's something you know you need to complete every week or every month you can have that recurring in your to-do list and you can have reminders set on to-dos as well so if something's approaching the deadline you can have it remind you of that. Things will also sync to Apple Calendar and Apple Reminders so if you prefer to use Apple's Reminders app as an input method for things you can do so and the calendar will allow you to look at all your to-dos and everything you've got in your calendar all in one place. So it just keeps things really nice and minimal. Another great feature of the Things app is the home screen widget, which will let you look at any of your to-dos at a glance without having to go into the app and also add new ones. But my absolute favorite thing about Things has to be one of the newest additions. They added a whole load of pre-configured Apple shortcuts, pre-set up for you to do various different tasks, such as blocking time for a task, adding prep time for events, saving your current location, adding a reminder to call somebody, and even adding pre-configured lists. So I've just had it set up with this pre-configured packing list that at one touch of the button, I can add to the Things app as a checklist that I can tick off as I pack. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so Things is an absolutely brilliant to-do list app and a great place to start with the organization of your home and professional lives. But what about when you want to get a bit more creative and start sketching ideas out for something? Well that's where app number two comes in and app number two is MindNode. 
MindNode is a really simple to use mind mapping app that actually has quite a lot of features available within the free version. You can create new nodes on your mind map, reorder them, rename them, fold and unfold them, and really sketch out quite a detailed idea or project just within that free version. But you do also have the plus tier, which unlocks the full features of the app and syncs everything across all your devices, iPad, iPhone, and Mac. MindNode is brilliant for sketching out ideas that you have and then expanding on them over time. It's my number one go-to tool when I sketch out an idea for a new YouTube video. But there are absolutely loads of uses for MindNode across your home and professional life. For example, when the holiday season comes around, you could use it to sketch out gift buying ideas for each of your loved ones all in one place or sketch out plans for hosting a party. At work, it's great for mapping out ideas for multifaceted projects that you might be working on and expanding on your ideas as you work through the project or even something simpler like creating an org chart. It's also incredibly useful for something like event planning where again, events have multiple different aspects to them. You've got the catering, the content of the event, the attendees, and you can give each of these different areas their own node and then child nodes branching off of them to help you plan. You get various different mind map templates within the app and then you can further customize Customize them to suit your preference. When you're done, you can export your mind map in various different formats, including PDF, image files, or even as a to-do into things. So, yep, we're feeding back into our other apps and creating an ecosystem and a workflow where everything ties in together. As well as being able to add text to your nodes, you can also add images and links. Speaking of links, there are also different ways to link the different nodes on your mind map depending on their relationship to one another. The standard is the parent-child relationship where you have multiple nodes branching off one main node, but you can also link nodes as siblings which will let you draw a link between two completely separate nodes. MindNode also really simplifies the process of creating your mind map because you can either create them up front as a mind map or there's a second feature called Outline which will let you create your mind map in list form and then at the push of a button transform it into a mind map. You can also go the other way around and create a mind map and transform it into an outline view. Just as with things, MindNode has its own home screen widget, which will let you access your most recently worked on mind maps, as well as quickly create a new one. So we've covered your to-do list and we've covered a way to quickly sketch out creative ideas for projects you're working on, but sometimes you just want to take a note. And guess what? I actually think the best note-taking app now is Apple's own Notes app. Therefore, app number three is Apple Notes. Now hear me out because I know for years and years Apple's Notes app did lag behind the competition. But on the sly, Apple's been adding more and more new features to their Notes app that I think actually make it incredibly powerful now. And it also plays well with the Apple ecosystem and plays well with the other apps on this list. One unique feature of Apple's Notes app, which isn't available on any other Notes apps, is the Quick Notes feature. If you've got an Apple Pencil, this is gonna allow you to drag up from the bottom right-hand corner of the screen from within any other app and add a Quick Note straight from there. If you're on something like a web page when you add a quick note it's going to automatically put a link to that web page in the note so when we talk about these apps not disrupting your workflow and actually enhancing it and fitting within it the quick notes feature within apple notes is so handy because it doesn't take you out of what you're doing to add a note you can do so from anywhere and do it quickly if you don't have an apple pencil don't fear because you can add the quick note tool to your device's control center but if you do have an apple pencil there's obviously a whole load of benefits you get out of that apple's notes app is designed to work really well with the apple pencil unsurprisingly and so if you prefer making handwritten notes rather than typing notes, then the Notes app is going to be the perfect place to do that with your Apple Pencil. Something else that's incredibly useful in Apple Notes, both at home and when you're at work, is the ability to share notes. You can share notes as read-only or you can collaborate on them with someone else. So if you're working on a project with somebody else at work, you can have a joint shared note set up for that and both add to it and you can track what someone else added. At home, you might have a shared note set up with your partner for something like a shopping list that you can both add to as you think of things you need. So Shared Notes is a great feature. Another thing you can do within the sharing options in Apple Notes is send a note to, yep, you guessed it, the Things app to create a to-do. So if you've been working on a note and then you think, oh, I need to follow up on this later, you can just send it to Things, create a to-do, and again, we're looping back around to that to-do list app where you can feed all of this back into and track it in one place. Apple has also added loads of additional organization features to Notes now, so you can separate Notes out between the different aspects of your life, work, home, in my case, YouTube, or any other side hustle you might 
might be working on. You can keep all those notes separate and then you can add hashtags to notes as well to link them that way. You can also add notes manually to a pin notes list that means they'll always stay at the top of your list if it's a note you frequently add to. You can also now scan documents and take photos directly from within a note. You don't need to go out to another app to do that. It all works within Apple's notes so if you want to include photos as part of your note just take a photo there and then while you're in notes and it's going to add it to the note you're working on. And similarly with scanning documents which is going to be really useful at work. And much like the other apps on this list Apple's notes has its own home screen widget so you can access your recent notes or recent quick notes. You can configure it either way. What about your diary? Well, Apple's actually coming up trumps again here because the fourth app I'm going to recommend is Apple's Calendar app. This is another app that Apple's secretly been adding a lot of features to over the years that make it a lot more powerful than it used to be. You can actually add all of your different calendars into Apple's Calendar app to view them all in one place. So it's not just your iCloud calendars, you can also add your Google Calendar, your Hotmail Calendar, and any subscription calendars such as a football season, for example, all into that calendar where you can view them as one. Furthermore, you can share your calendars from the app with other people and you can set them up either so the other person has a read-only view or they're able to actually add to the calendar as well. I really recommend using this. If you've got a partner at home where you've both got separate diaries and then things you do together, you can have three separate calendars. One for you that's a read-only version for your partner, one for your partner that's a read-only version for you, and then a joint calendar that you can both update together. All the calendars are going to show in different colours, so when you take a view of your week, you can see exactly what you've got on, exactly what your partner has on, and exactly what you're doing together. No more double booking. Another feature I use all the time and I don't think enough people know about is that when you set up a calendar entry, you can add the location to your calendar, nothing new there, but it will also let you add travel time from a starting destination that you know you're going to be at and then it factors that travel time as well as the time of the event itself into the calendar entry. Taking that a step further, if you have Apple CarPlay and you've added the destination of an event to your calendar entry, when you get in the car to drive to it, it's going to show up with that destination automatically and you just have to click one button to take you there. You can add other things to your diary entries such as setting reminders and also even adding files. One thing I really like to do is if I'm going to an event where there's tickets required I'll add the tickets into the diary entry when I set it up so that months down the line when I come to the event I'm not scrabbling around trying to find the tickets. They're right there in the diary entry for me. And you guessed it and we already mentioned it up front but Apple's Canada will link to the Things app so that when you're within Things you can view all of your calendar entries colour coded as they are in the calendar app and you view them alongside your to-dos so you have a view of both what events you have on and what your to-do list is all in one place. We're getting some insane productivity out of these apps now. They all work together in a harmonious workflow, but unbelievably there's one more, and app number five is Strides. Strides is probably the simplest of all the apps on this list, and it's designed for goal tracking. Across iPad, iPhone, and Apple Watch, you can set up goals and streaks within Strides, and then quickly tap on the screen to keep your streak going. For example, you might have an exercise goal like running once a day or running five times a week. There might be a certain work task that you need to complete on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. It's even really useful for things you want to stop doing, like stop eating junk food, stop smoking. To make it really easy to set up new goals and streaks, there's a load of templates within the Strides app that you can select and build from there. There are templates for things like productivity goals, money, health and fitness, business, relationships and a whole load of others. Once you set up a goal, you can set reminders on it to remind you to hit those goals. You can set rolling goals or targets that you want to hit by a specific date. You can add tags to trackers, for example, work and home to organize them into the different areas of your life. And as with all the other apps on this list, it has its own home screen widget where you can tap to check off against trackers easily. There's plenty of functionality within the free version of the Strides app, but for a one-off payment of $79.99 or $4.99 a month, Strides Plus will give you access to unlimited trackers as well as various different reports to help you track how you're doing. Included within that, you also get access to a really useful goal setting course, which is going to give you tips on how to set goals effectively and stick to them. And that's it. Five incredible apps that I promise you are going to absolutely transform the organization of your life across the board. You don't need to be managing work tasks and home tasks and your side hustles separately. You can manage all of those things within all of these apps. And the added bonus is that they all talk to each other as well. Today's question for the comments is which of the apps on this list stood out the most to you as the one you really want to start using to help your organization? Comment down below and let me know. All that remains is for me to thank you very much for watching everyone. If you got value out of this video, do hit this little like button down below. Do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because there'll be more content like this coming and you're not going to want to miss it. What YouTube thinks you should do next is watch this video here. So thanks and I'll see you over there.